welcome back to the vlog. I'm your host as always, Felicia Day, and this is my co-host, this little jerk who's mocking my outfit. So this is gonna be the last episode of the vlog for season two, you guys. I have sad, but as you know, the vlog is a show that's very special to me, and just because we're wrapping up today does not mean it won't ever come back. I'm the vlog necromancer, summoning it from the grave once a year to terrorize with uh, cute things I find on the internet and segments where I do stuff and make an ass of myself sometimes. Speaking of segments, today's might be one of my all-time favorites. If you know anything about me, you know how much I adore animals. If I was in Planet of the Apes, I would side against the humans. Okay, maybe I wouldn't go that far, but it might be a little touch and go for me. Oh, have you seen that sexy gorilla in Japan? So today I get to go to the Wildlife Learning Center and meet some of the most amazing creatures with some amazing people. And I smelled like a dirty emu afterwards, but it was worth it. <gasps> I touched a fox. But first, I present to you our final trio meal. Narwhal Bacon Box is a monthly gift box service for internet geeks. But unlike other gift box delivery services, Narwhal Bacon Box delivers random goodies to your door based on what's popular on Reddit. So. If you're a Redditor or you want to try and learn about the mysterious and often bizarre yet wonderful world of Reddit, the parts without all the hateful assholes, <laughs> this is the gift box service for you. The last box I got had sriracha bacon jerky and upvote downvote coasters, and no box would be complete without the apple pie to dirty fart candle. It's a really great service for someone who's internet savvy or for someone who just wants to get a glimpse at what's being passed around on Reddit, like a dirty upvote disease. Find it at narwhalbaconbox.com. Number two on our list this week is No Such Thing as a Fish, a podcast by the researchers behind one of the most entertaining shows on the BBC, QI with Stephen Fry. In the podcast, the researchers reveal some of the crazy and interesting things they each found throughout the week while researching for the show on BBC. Some of the stuff they turn out is really out there and some of it is just horrifyingly amusing. I mean, there's just something about that dry British humor that makes a terrible fact like James Garfield being fed through his anus in the last week of his life kind of amusing. <laughs> and then you feel like a horrible person. And then you laugh again. Trust me though, if it's ridiculous and insane, they find the humor every time. Check out their podcast at qi.com slash podcast. And finally, for number three this week, I can barely contain myself. It is a site called Creative Box Gaming. Basically, it's a site where you can order custom made video game consoles. But when I say custom made, I don't mean they just paint smiley faces or some shit on the shell. Look at some of these designs. They turn consoles into little artistic shrines and they will make pretty much anything you can dream up. If you're not in the market for a console, they also make video game controllers for the classic Nintendo all the way up to the Xbox 360. I dropped them a line to see if they could make us a customized Nintendo for co-optitude or something. And look at this shit. What, are you kidding? It even lights up with LEDs in the, Whoa, shout out to Matt Taylor at Creative Box Gaming for making this. Great work, dude, high five. I would love to play a game badly with you one day. You can find more amazing consoles and order your own at creativeboxgaming.com and at Creative Box Gaming on Facebook. I love you. It's time for wildlife. Let's go see some animals. And I'm not talking about the kids, ha <laughs> ha. I don't have any, my uterus is unused. My friend Misha Collins, acquaintance, workmate, person, you know, party. Hey, what's up? What have you been doing? Let's have lunch. Never happens. I'm just kidding. How are you? Have we had lunch? Never. So it's true. We never had lunch. We should do that though. Let's do that. Let's, Let's do it. Let's get lunch. Quote unquote. And um, you 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 have some friends with you. Yep. These oh. are my associates. Associates. Your agent and your lawyer. Yes. This is this is <laughs> West and Mason. And we are here with Brittany at the Wildlife Learning Center because that's where we are. See how I host? I do it. Um, Brittany, tell me a little bit about the Wildlife Learning Center. Well, we're an educational outreach company. So we're open to the public, so people come, can come and view animals. But we also take those animals off-site and teach everybody about them. OK, so what are you going to teach Wes today? We're going to learn about foxes and owls okay. and snakes. What's the oldest kid that one of your snakes has eaten? Oh, gosh. Probably. How, how old are you, Wes? Four and three quarters. So you have had a four? We have up to five. Oh, okay. wow. They, they so, can eat anything up to five years so old. So they're vulnerable. <laughs> but we're good, though. We're, right? we're OK. Right. I mean, you might lose your right thigh. OK, so what are you excited to see today? 
That, okay, good. So I think we got, we have a I consensus so. that this is gonna be in a very exciting trip. It's gonna be a good day. And let's go in and see some animals. So Brittany, who is this? Who's our first uh, victim? I mean, candidate, I mean, friend. <laughs> This is Zeus, and he's a western screech owl. And where do the western screech owls normally live? Here in California. So you can actually go hiking and see these guys outside. And Zeus is actually a minor internet celebrity, guys. What is he famous for? Because I thought I saw him on Nime Gag, like, judging somebody. Yeah. And uh... You know what? He's actually famous for his eyes. They're a blue color, and they almost look like there's white little spots that look like the galaxy. Oh, yeah. So he's known as the starry-eyed owl. The reason for those beautiful eyes is not necessarily the happiest story. It's because he was injured out in the wild. He can't see very well at all. He can see shadows and light, wow. but he's in no pain whatsoever. He goes for doctor checkups all the time. Do you go to the doctor? We always, we always get checkups. Always get a good checkup. Yeah, he gets it's true. Thank too. you for that, Mason. That's a good message for the internet. Always get a checkup. <laughs> Well, foxes are my actual totem animal. I have four or five necklaces that have foxes on them. I, uh, I have a raccoon shirt on, so I don't want him to think that he's not a priority. Also, Brittany, I have a really important question that the audience needs to know. Yeah. What does he say? What does the fox say? A ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> you did no? it. It was so cheap and you did it. <laughs> You're really cheap, but in a good way. I work with animals, I have to be cheap. You have to be. <laughs> so tell us about the porcupines in here, Brittany. So you are hanging out with four porcupines. So these guys are North American porcupines, so we can find them here in California, but way up north. A little higher. Oh, good job. Yeah. Can I, can I try one? Yeah, we're actually running I'm out actually, of carrots, actually, and they are not <laughs> quite afraid right now. So all of this are these are guard hairs. Uh -huh. So these are not going to hurt me. But underneath, yeah, are yeah I see. All of their I quills. see a lot of bigger quills. Yep. I really want them to poop We don't on want you. them to touch because they yeah, okay, don't touch. Move. Mason, maybe okay. don't fondle the uh, porcupine as a rule. <laughs> Let's have that be our takeaway from this experience. Life lesson: Don't touch the porcupine. <laughs> So as you'll see, we have our next animal, which is two adorable human- Homo sapiens. Homo sapiens. What, what are we really here for? We're here for Lola, who is actually gonna do some hanging on this pole. <gasps> Who's what do you Lola? think Lola, Who's Lola is? Let's find out who Lola is. <gasps> Who's this in Lola there? This Lola sounds like an interesting person. All right, we're gonna and just look at- she has a very oh. long Whoa. arms. Wow. Oh man, Lola is super cool. Lola needs a manicure. Look at those fingernails, you guys. Westy, that's why we clip your fingernails, <laughs> so that they don't get like that. And where is she from, Lola? They're that's gonna not be from low LA. The that rainforest. From the rainforest. So Central okay. and South oh, America. Yeah. America. And there are a lot of lemurs, or no, this is a sloth. There are tons of, uh, <laughs> this is a sloth. They're actually related to anteaters and armadillos. You, that's what you were gonna say. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say they're genus and they're Latinish <laughs> stuff. But you know, I'm not getting that out now because you made fun of me and made my cat look dorky, mister. <laughs> so All one right. really cool thing, guess how often they go to the bathroom. What do you think, Wes? Once a week. What? Imagine Whoa. how much we could get done if we only went to the bathroom When once I a visit week. my mother, same thing. <laughs> Stress. You, you stop going to the bathroom? Yeah, just stop it up. Wow. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. All right, so last stop. I think we, uh, Mason, where did you want to go last? I want to see the snakes. You want to see the snakes? We have a request to see I snakes. I love it. Can Let's we make go. that happen? You bet. Wow. So this is Zigzag. And look at, she's actually starting to shed. So you guys want to touch? So you go down like this towards her tail. Why is she so cold? It's so cold blooded thing. So they are ectothermic. Don't say cold blooded. Okay, no. That's, is, that, is that offensive? It's, I mean, is that really? <laughs> That's like racist, actually. <laughs> it's racist yeah. they're I'm sorry. ectothermic, which means that their body temperature goes up and down. Okay. It's, so they're not always cold. Yeah, so for the record, <laughs> insulting to a snake to call them cold-blooded. Wow, this is amazing. What do you think about this, West? Do you want to help hold her? Why don't you stand up, be nice and tall, put out those big tree branch arms, just like this. I'm sorry. Good job. Okay, <laughs> do you want to stand up and help hold, too? Yes, <laughs> of course you do. Ready? 
Ready? Gotcha. You gotta be strong, West. Good job. You want a little bit? Right, there. there. You Mason, you gotta hold you on to the snake. Good job, Mason. What do you think? Heavy, huh? Heavy, right? This is your Christmas card this year, Mason. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Good job! <laughs> You're in the Christmas card. I'm in your Christmas card. I'm <laughs> sorry. I mean, you know, I wear my way anywhere I can. Hey, God, you know, I photobomb anything, even your Christmas card. Brittany, thank you so much for having us thank at you the Wildlife coming. Center. You guys do amazing work and show that, you know, uh, wild animals should be preserved and respected and introduce them to people of all ages. Thanks Mason, for coming. Yeah, Mason, what was your favorite part? Um, um, the snakes. The, uh, the snakes. Oh, the snakes. Yeah, yeah. What about you, Wes? What was your favorite animal to meet? What about All you? Of them, I what think. about you, Misha? What was your favorite animal to meet? I am kind of torn. I think that the sloth was pretty spectacular. Lola was very beguiling. But I felt myself getting kind of uh, emotionally uh, stimulated by being so close. That was the wrong term. I was trying to say that being near the porcupines really, I'm digging it out. Digging, 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 it out. digging, digging. Porcupines made me really scared, and that was sort of a peak experience. It, well, it was an emotional response. I thought that the children were going to be maimed. I mean, they were brave. <laughs> They were all yeah. fingers in. And yeah. I mean, they were very brave. Yeah. Well, anyway, um, as a thanks to you, I have a community online called Team Human. They followed me when I stream video games, yeah. and they're an amazing community who support everything. And we did a charity t-shirt a couple months it. back, and oh we raised God. a bunch of money, and we wanted to find an animal, um, re a place that took care of animals who have been injured yeah. and do education. So we have a check to present to you. Oh my goodness. From Team Human. Oh my goodness. For $8,000. Oh my goodness. That's what we earned uh, earn from our t-shirt. So this is thanks to all the Team Humans around the world who bought the shirt. Well, uh, I don't know if you know, Misha has an amazing organization called... Random Acts. Random Acts. And you do amazing things for charity as well. So this having you here... This is very, very, very impressive. Wow. Having you here is inspiring because we are charity buddies. Nice work. I appreciate it. And and so you're going to have to take this to Bank of America because I had it printed. So it was kind of an investment of... Uh, so, whoa, okay. okay, okay. So uh, I don't know what they're going to do as far as... Endorse, but we do have an endorsement of the raccoon. Oh, that's so, good. Whoa, okay. Good. And then maybe, you know... <laughs> okay, you should take this. Bye, Bye. everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. with this stuff? Mason sent over notes on the cut. There are some writers to Misha's contract. West has complaints about the lack of green M&Ms on set. Oh, huh. I guess I'm getting sued now. Anyway, that's it for this season of the vlog, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel. I hope you enjoyed my book if you read it. If you didn't, go to hell. See you on Co-Optitude, everybody. And, and Twitch. And everywhere else on the internet I am. I'm everywhere. All right, bye. Hi, I'm Crazy Bastard Sam of Crazy Bastard Sam's Books Emporium, and I sell books. Come down now and buy this book. It's so amazing. It's the only book I stock. I love this book. 4,000 copies ready to be sold at our outs. Standing prices! Buy all of them! Oh, 4,000, and I will give you 10% off the sales price because I'm a crazy, ah, crazy, f you, crazy, f bastard! The ah, oh. literature has never been so fantastic. This book has all the stories you'd ever want to know about the woman who created the guild. It's a magical girl named Cody and her Halloween friends playing a video game. Stupid as. Fuck! All this and more inside this book, which you can buy now inside this warehouse from me, Crazy Bastard Sam. Come down now, and you will buy two, two copies. copies. Nom, nom, nom. This book is the best book ever written. I sell to you cheap, because I'm a great, ah, great, crazy. You better buy two copies. Ah!